Hey everyone, it's Trader Rob. Today is FOMC. I mean, actually, we've got oil inventory uh, reports coming out this morning. It's a busy news cycle, high impact. Traditionally, I don't trade very well. But let's see if we can change it around today. How we're going to change it around? Right after the intro. All right, as always, nothing that I state on this channel is financial advice. Trading futures or any type of trading is risky business. Any capital that you put in play is at risk of loss. All right, so as I stated, um, FOMC this morning, PPI, we got um, oil inventory, just a, a trifecta of high impact news. Um, bot took a trade this morning, took a loss of $154 on a red line. Not a great trade, um, just pure chop. I wanted to leave the bot running until about 10 a.m. Central Time, so I got about another 40 minutes. I'm going to turn it off. Um, I it, this was just a dumb, dumb one. I mean, look at this consolidation, but. I would be looking for a trade in the NASDAQ um, for the in the next 40 minutes. Um, so since in oil inventory is going to be coming out, I am switching off the um, the oil bot. So this one took this trade around nine o'clock in the morning central time. So we got some ground to make up with the bot, that's for sure. Um, and not that many more trading days left in the challenge. What? Um, and then what my plan is, is for my third account challenge. I know this is by popular demand. Um, I am going to be trading my strategies. There's been a few people that want, um, that wanted me to, to trade my strategies on a, a prop account, which might be a good idea. I trade all my strategies on my cash account anyway, so it'd be kind of dumb to, to, to do both. Um, and so maybe I'll do a prop. I'll open up a, um, an eval just for the next challenge on top step of 50 K and see how my strategies can fare out in 30 days. So let me know if you think that's a good idea. If you guys like to see that or not, uh, let me take a look at the trades for this morning. Uh, I'll first bring up, well, let's bring up the loser. Let's start with the losers. I'm the opposite of your normal YouTube trader that's just showing you the winners. Um, all right, here's your here's gold for this morning. We got an inside bar at 8.30 in the morning. Uh, we got activated to the long. Felt good about the trade. Um, look, I mean, just was kind of thinking that right in this, and I don't like, God, I don't even like drawing these boxes anymore because it just gives me anxiety from... From, uh, I don't know what am I doing here? Sorry. Let's, why is my background not opacity? Okay, there we go. You can tell it's been a long time since I draw these stupid boxes, but, um, so my thought was that this was even in play up here. Um, I had the overnight open somewhere down here, somewhere around here, I believe. Um, so, I mean, you know, that was the bottom of the range here. So, you know, it was kind of, I don't know. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, we, we went up probably 60% of profit, uh, right away. So I was feeling good feeling like, you know, price action wants to come up to here. And then, um, we just started ranging and took a loss of 20 ticks or 200 bucks. So that sucked. Um, let me put this one back so i can take a look at this okay and then let's take a look at oil oil all right so as i mentioned in my in my discord this morning you know i give an update around 7 30 in the morning as far as you know what are the what are the high impact news 
um, and what's kind of my trading um, thoughts for the day. And I told everyone that um, obviously we've got a shit ton of high impact news this morning. So I probably will not be looking for a trade in session two in oil. Um, we did get an inside bar here that formed at 910. I did not take this. Actually, I don't think many took it. Um, well, there's a few people that 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 ended in, that still ended up taking this. But just to track this one, got activated to the long. We set our stop loss to the bottom of our source candle, 24 ticks and 24 ticks. So that would be this trade for second session. Again, I'm not in it. Um, I did take this trade in oil um, this morning, first session at 8.05. Um, little incy bincy trade uh, just because of where the source candle was. Our stop was, I think it was 14 ticks. Um, it was 14 ticks. So we got in, oh yeah, because of the offset. And then we got in real quick trade, um, full take profit there. So I think it was up 140 bucks at that point. So 140 there, took a little bit of loss on gold. Um, funny enough, my NQ835 trade has lost don't even like talking about it too much anymore because I know a lot of people ask me for the strategy and I have not created a video on that yet. Um, but it's also lost four days in a row. Yeah. So that one's kind of been a tough one. Um, and I typically don't trade it <laughs> on high news cycle days. Um, it's, it's been kind of one of my, one of my, one of my rules. Um, but I, I left, I put it on this morning and I put, I put the risk on and I hit it. So it was up 250 there. So I'm green for the day. Um, you know, that's good, but I'm not going to see, I don't think very many more trading opportunities, which is kind of a bummer, but at the same time, it's, um, might be good trade management. Fancy word. Ugh. Anyways. So. What's your strategy for FOMC? I know a lot of people like to. I know in gold. I mean, I'm sorry. I know in oil. Um, a lot of people in the discord are waiting for. You know, they're waiting for that. Um, oil inventory report, which will be released here in about three minutes. And then once the death settle, they'll take another um, inside bar if they see one. You know, I, I know that strategy's worked, I think, the last two Wednesdays in a row. So that could be something. Not necessarily sure I'm going to take that because it's, uh, again, outside of my rules. We already had a we already had a signal in the morning. So we'll see. Um the cool thing is with the bot, I'll give you guys some some updates. Um, there has been a release uh, just for some back testing, um, for some strategy testing, and um, just making sure that you know um, some beta testers is what the word I'm trying to look for. Sorry, some beta testers on the gold line um, trades where it is now added the overnight open trade to the strategy. Um, all of those buttons that I've been talking about where you can turn on and off the um, the one minute, the five minute, and the five minute red line. Um, so there was, I don't know, there's about 10 of us that they put in for beta testing and um, took a look at it, looks awesome. So I think that's gonna be really, is gonna be ready for release here very soon. Um, I'm really, I mean, all of the features are great. Um, I'm, I'm extremely, in, I'm extremely interested in the in the overnight open, but I don't know why. I I really feel like that is God, and I hate saying this because this is not how I like the trade, but it is a real field trade for me where 
you know, let me just see if there's an example. Um, I don't, I don't know if there is a good example. Um, I guess maybe here, it didn't touch the overnight open, came pretty damn close to it. But the trade that I like is, I like the trade that pierces, has another candle that pierces it again, and then we get a color in the opposite direction. And I like to get in on that color of opposite direction because I think at that point in this scenario you would get you would get the buyers stepping in to defend and take price action up and again it's not a trade in my opinion I don't think it's a trade for you know to stay in for 40 points on the Nasdaq or you know 30 40 ticks in an oil I don't think it's that trade I think it's you know, a sweet spot and maybe on the NASDAQ is about 25 points, 20 points, and in oil, maybe 25 ticks, somewhere around there. Um, because you could always try to, and it could always try to come right back and retest. Um, and again, I'm not a big fan of just kind of getting in and out of trades back and forth. Uh, wow, there you go. Well... <laughs> Oh man. So let me show you this. Uh, people are excited on Discord. So there you go. Uh, oil session two would have been a winner. And it was funny because I was telling everybody in Discord I really, really would like to take one more trade in oil just to, um, just because of that, that gold loss that we took. <laughs> there it was. There it was. There was the trade. That's okay. That is all right. Um, all right, so I don't know. I don't know how exciting today is going to be. So far, it's been um, it's been pretty good. Again, I'm in the green, so that's always important. Um, but let's see what let's see the rest of the day can do for for the bot and for my strategies. Stick around. All right, here the bot go takes a takes a long on a five minute red line. I didn't necessarily like this trade. I'm gonna give you my exact, what I was thinking here. I already knew that I was gonna be cutting off the bot in the next 30 to 35 minutes. And I honestly wasn't even sure I would be able to take another trade, which is not a good reason to take a trade. I, I understand that. But at the same time, knowing that there could be some movement here prior to the FOMC, as I've always said on a lot of videos, you do get a lot of good movement leading into FOMC. It's either chop or some movement. Now, granted, looking left, we do have some chop, but I ended up taking this trade. Um, I sped up this trade because I was in here for a while. Uh, so the, you know, the bot does the auto trail um, and it's at break even at this point. So I got no sweat in this, in this trade, at, you know, so I'm, I'm thinking to myself, let this sucker run, baby, please let this sucker run. Because if I can get a little gift here before I turn off the spot, I would be extremely, extremely happy with the day. Um, I generally don't have the best luck. Um, I hate to call it luck, but I, I don't feel like I have the best statistics on days like today. So the fact that I could bag something that in the green, I am very tempted at this point to punch out with even a small win. But then I say to myself, okay, if I can, you know, if I get a hundred, I'm 150 bucks, I'm back to pretty much break even for the day. Um, but if I can get a, if I can squeak out a little bit more, you know, and there I am, I'm looking at the charts to kind of see what price action looks to the left. And, um, I'm kind of thinking to myself, if I can get into that 350 range, close to 400, I'm going to punch out. So I did it. I was able to get 
into the green on a day that I just, I don't trade well. I mean, I shit, I can't, I don't know how many more times I can say it. I just don't trade well on these type of days. I was green in my strategies. I was green on the bot. It's a good day. <laughs> it's a really, really good day. And it could have been so much better. So much better. You know, I I I I was conservative after session one in oil. Let's just pull up oil. I, I want to show this, but let's just pull up oil. Um took a nice win, session one. It was a small win. 13 takes, 130 bucks. And I tell everybody in Discord, uh, mentioned it in my earlier uh, recap, that I was not going to be looking to take a trade in session two. I know a lot of people in Discord did take this trade in session two. Um, so you got an inside candle right at 9.10. Remember, news release, um, oil inventory is coming out at 9.30. So they get activated into a long. And so the long would have been right here. You take your stop right here, 24 ticks, 24 ticks. And you come really close of getting knocked out here. So everybody in Discord's like, oh, we probably should have stayed out of this trade. We should have stayed out of this trade. And then boom, 930 um, report hits, full take profit. Now, granted, this is a 50-50 at best proposition right here. In my opinion, this is probably more like a 30-70% winning trade because you're in drawdown. I mean, you are in drawdown here. So, you know, you could get a little spike one way or the other and you're out of this trade. So I'm happy. I am very happy that this won for a lot of people in Discord, a lot of people that follow the strategy. I unfortunately wasn't in it. I was conservative. I didn't get this trade. I would have loved to have taken another 240 bucks. That would have made my day a great day. Um, and then I know we talked about, I know we talked about uh, gold already. Took a loss in um, in gold. Had an inside bar here at 8:30. We got activated to the long. I mean, took about 25 minutes, but we ended up getting knocked out here for gold, and uh, so took a loss there. Fortunately for me, I, I took a nice trade on my NQ this morning for 250 bucks, so that helped. And then we get into the bot. Took a trade in oil, took a loss in oil. Um, I figured my 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 thought process was like 10 o'clock in the morning. I was going to I was going to turn turn the bots off and um, and not and not put any risk on the table. So I kind of knew that my window of opportunity was starting to kind of shrink. And look at this trade. Let's just, let's open up NQ. NQ deserves it. <laughs> Be conservative. If it's, it's FOMC. Be conservative. Well, yeah. Look at this beauty of a trade full take profit that the bot would have taken i didn't i mean i didn't get it because i turned the bot off turn the bot off right after my win that you guys just saw uh which we also got to talk about that win too because something a little funky happened there at the end so we get a we get a five minute red line pull a pull back into the five minute red line and then right at the fomc report huge spike full take profit this would have been a $746 trade right there. How much did Robert get? Zero. That's okay. I wouldn't have, I would not have had this bot on at that time. Um, but it's a nice trade. <laughs> That's a really nice trade. All right, so let's look at my trade, the one that I was in. Um, you know, not the best setup. I, I get that. Look at this crap right here. I mean, not the best setup. But at the same time, I was thinking to myself, you know, my window of opportunity is probably shrinking, which is not a good thought. It's not a good thought as a trader to have that. Um, and But I was thinking it. I'm like, you know, it's it, probably going to have to turn this thing off in the next 30 to 40 minutes. 
And the bot takes a setup, it takes a setup on a five minute red line. And, you know, once this thing went to break even, I was just like, this is, this is cake. And then once it started going into like $150 range, I was actually contemplating punching out just to break, have my day break even. And I figured my, I'm up on my strategies. If I can get this bot to be break even today, I would rather fight for another day. But it price action just went right through that $150 PL. And then I started seeing 200 started seeing 250 you know, started to see a small pullback. And I'm like, all right, this is it's this game on. So once it started getting to that 350 close to 400 range. I'm telling myself, you know what? I, I'm going to punch out of this trade. Uh, and it was like around 350, 340, where, where in the video you see me, I hit the close position button and it gets me out of that position. It got me out of that position. Let me open up a performance stats here. Um, it, it got me out of that position for a $335 win. But here's the crazy part. After I did that, there was still, it, it's like another entry was opened at that exact point where I hit close position. And I was just like, what in the world is going on here? And then it's like negative. I'm like negative like 20 bucks. And I'm like, what is going on? And you guys can see me getting a little like flustered as to how am I going to close this position? I ended up closing it and it, it spiked a little bit. I think I made five bucks. I made five bucks profit on that um, on that stupid stupid thing that's happening there. Um, but again, I want to show you guys one other thing. So I closed this trade. Uh, so I made three hundred thirty five bucks at the peak. The absolute peak of this trade was nineteen and a quarter points on the NQ, which is a little less than. Um, it's a little less than $400. It's probably $385. Um, so I'm sure someone's going to correct my math um, on the, in the comments, but somewhere around there. So where I punched out was actually a pretty... I, I didn't leave much money on the table there. Um, and the fact that we were going into FOMC, I was thinking anything I can get here, I am happy with. I am super happy with. So to get that $335 trade right there, that meant, that meant, that meant a lot to me. Um, it really did. And so I took a total profit today of $177 because of that oil trade that I lost for the 150 bucks, but Hey, it is what it is. Um, so I played a conservative. I was able to get in the green. I'm happy about that. I'm happy that my um, that my strategies for most people, um, you know, the the people that took both sessions in oil, they made a really nice profit today. Um, again, there's statistically, it's typically not my day, and today was my day, so I'm I'm happy about that. And what I'm honestly most excited about is I'm excited to trade for tomorrow. I'm excited to trade and and end this end this week off, hopefully in a green note. That is that's my goal, and I'm really hoping that I can hit that goal. Um, listen, if you guys are enjoying the content, please make sure to like this video. Uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know how you guys did today trading. I know FOM, uh, FOMC is, is a big day for trading. A lot of vol volatility. Um, I would love to know how you guys did. How'd you guys do with um, my strategies if you're trading them? And if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. I really, really appreciate it. See you guys tomorrow and happy trading.